Year Recap and What's Next. Hi friends! Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, it is my dream to be an entertainer. So if you are at all entertained by this video, please like it and consider subscribing for more content. So this is going to be just uh, hopefully a short uh, video. I do tend to ramble, so I, I have bullet points of what I want to cover, so I should stay on track. Um, but this is just to kind of fill you in on what kind of year I've had and what's going on and what, what, what will be in the future. So I kind of alluded to some of this in some of the other videos, uh, so I just really wanted to dedicate a video to this. First, I want to say I know if you were expecting like a story time or something, I decided that it would be better, those would be stronger if I just held off a little um, because I like to really prepare and plan and have everything prepared, lined out, and finalized to a T uh, before I start anything. And then when I start, I have flexibility. So if something happens, I have the time and I have the energy to focus on putting that fire out. That's how I've always managed my work um, when I've been in an office job. And I find that I do that in my personal life too. And it just works for me as someone who has a lot of anxiety and is not a procrastinator. I usually only procrastinate if I'm scared of the project that I'm about to do. Um, and usually that becomes, you know, it's either a mind thing, a mind obstacle, or it's because I didn't prepare beforehand. So usually I like to just prepare and everything. So I have a lined out of what I want to do uh, for these videos, these next few videos um, is starting in the new year. And I uh, that's why I decided to start in the new year because the next video that should be posted, unless I have like a weird update for you guys, is going to be the season one one of the Name That Voice series. And so rather than pushing to get that out before I'm really ready for it, I wanted to take a week or two to really outline and make sure that I'm saying everything that I want to in each episode, especially because I feel the first season should be really strong because it is a historical factual of like the whole scope of voiceover. So, you know, no pressure on my end, right? Uh, no, it's, it's going to be fun. But um, anyway, so that's that. That's why this video is just going to be here. No other videos are going to be out until the new year. So just to let you guys know, I'm taking a two week break. Not really a break. I'm just doing back end stuff. So you're not going to see my face. I'm still going to be around. Um, so I'm just really excited for that. So, uh, you know, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, a happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah. Um, is, was Ramadan in December this year? Uh, Diwali already passed. I'm sorry if I didn't say your holiday, but happy holidays to you. And if it is just a normal day for you, um, then I hope you have a really fun winter season. Uh, so those are all that. So really jumping into the full bulk of this um, is really just, you know, my my time on YouTube uh, this year. And not only just YouTube, actually, my whole year perspective, right? So first, I do just want to say this is like a super recent issue that I've come across. For some reason, my last two videos um, exported with me very yellow. It was so crazy to me. I didn't realize until I had already posted the other video because I always review and edit my stuff within the project. I use Adobe Premiere Pro. So I reviewed what I did and it looked fine in my, in my video and my project. So I didn't watch the exported video because I watched the stuff beforehand. I had, I, this had never happened to me before. So I posted it and it already got a few views and I don't get a lot of views anyway. So I'm like, the people who are going to watch it have already watched it. So I left that one up. I apologize. Um, this other one that is actually posting this, so I, I always record a, a week ahead. <laughs> so the one that's going to be posting, I actually did catch that one fast enough and I tried exporting it three different ways. I, I researched and I was like, how do I fix this? The weirdest thing is, it was only my body that was yellow. The background was still color corrected the way I did it. So like, you know, Birdo over here, she was pink and with white eyes. And my I had a wall that, you know, it's teal. Like those looked accurate to what the colors were. My skin tone 
was literally yellow, like highlighter yellow. And it was only my skin. And so I was like, well, is it like, cause I, I switched um, powder, you know, setting powder. So it was like, is it my makeup? But it can't be because I, my chest and my arms were that way too. And I don't put makeup there. I just go down my neck, but I don't really go down. I know some people do, um, but I, I think I'm, I, um, well, obviously I don't know what this is going to come out, but um, in person and in pictures, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, um, I was going to say color coordinated. What is it called? Matching. Color match, you know, so I don't have to do all of that um, because I do a very casual day wear type of a thing. And when you walk around in public, like normal people don't cover their entire body with makeup, I think. If they do, someone needs to update me on that. So anyway, so I was like, so it can't be that because what I did to my face is not what I did to my chest and my arms, but those were coming out yellow too. It was like a, almost like a key chrome type of a, a key, you know, yeah, like when you like do a green screen, it was like picking up just my skin, but I didn't do that effect. So I had no idea. So I'm also going to be playing around with that, testing things out. This is the last time I'm going to be using this setup um, to see if I can get it corrected. Because as I said, I've used this setup the entire time. Even when I was downstairs in the receiving room where you guys saw me do my craft videos, I was using the same setup. So nothing has changed except I did an update in Adobe Premiere. So who knows? I have feelings. Unfortunately, I use Adobe Audition for my uh, VO work. And I just, I really grew up on that software in my career. And so I just don't feel comfortable switching. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not really happy with Adobe Creative uh, Cloud right now. So that's that. So really quick bullet points. Um, my personal life going well. Um, I tried to do some dating. I went on some dates, really cool people, but not, uh, not candidates for a life partner. Um, I'm still talking to several of them. <laughs> so I've made new friends. So that's awesome. Uh, just uh, yeah, still single. Um, my hip pain is still around. I'm able, better able to manage the pain. Um, so I do feel that the um, labral tear, that um, small surgery that I had did help because that helped the excruciating pain where I couldn't even stand and use my leg at all. So now um, I have that communication with my body. The pain levels um, are on an everyday, you know, it's usually pretty well, pretty manageable. Bad days, I take some ibuprofen, um, but I rarely have to use the cane. I get to a point where I feel like I need it, and that's the point where I usually am sitting down because I went food shopping, and towards the end, I'm like, I really need help, you know, assistance walking. That's usually like, okay, well, I'm, I, you know, push to get to the car, and then you're done. Um, so I've been very, very grateful in that. Um, it's still not 100%. I still really can't. It, the weirdest thing with it is that I can run and jump. Like, I am still physically able to do that. Um, it just hurts at the end. Like, I can do, you know, I can jump, do jump, jumping jacks for, like, a minute or something, and then it really, really hurts. But I can still physically do the action. So I'm hopeful that means that I can just kind of strengthen, you know, my, my, you know, whatever it is. So I, um, I still will be seeing a specialist in the new year at some point. Um, but I'm kind of prioritizing other issues. Like I've got, um, chronic fatigue that I'm still trying to figure out to me. That's more important because my daily life, I usually spend sitting in a chair. So it's okay if I am in pain, not okay, but you know, like I can push through that, but not having the mental fortitude to go through an entire day without taking a nap. Um, is really detrimental to my life, <laughs> and I would like that to not occur. So that's really where I am for that. I, uh, as I think I've said before, February 2022, I officially started my own business again full time, though. Um, so I was working an office job as a marketing manager, quit that job to actually do full time voiceover. Since then, I have seen a, a real growth. Um, I have new clients. Um, some clients, actually most of the clients I gained, they were really short term because unfortunately they just were not working out. Um, the You have to weigh the, the time allowance with um, what, you, what your rate is. And I have been getting some really lower rate clients um, in terms of, and by rate, I mean like pay, not like, you know, are they good clients? That's not what I meant. I meant like, you know, 
$5 an hour versus $25 an hour, that kind of thing. That's not how I'm paid, so that's why I can use that example. Um, so some of those I had to let go because just the time I was giving to their project was not really seeing through in the paycheck, so to speak. Um, I am still working daily with We Here, which is part of Dreamy. Um, so I am still an audiobook narrator. I'm narrating two books currently right now. Um, and so uh, that's that's going pretty well. Um, so I love that I'm in the studio every day, working every day, um, because it just gives me that kind of buffer of that, yes, I'm doing something. You know, if I don't, if I know I'm not even making a penny that day, I don't feel successful. <laughs> so the fact that I have them kind of like every day, this is, you know, it's steady, it's a constant, it's not going to stop um, because my contract with them actually is three years. Um, we did discuss it. There's no issue of like either one of us cutting ties. Uh, we just have to give like a, a month advance or unless like, you know, like finish out the book that you're doing, that kind of thing. So, um, so that's good. I have that kind of security. Um, so I can really push for other things. So that's been great. Um, and then I had another client that, um, I got a lot of work with, um, but they're kind of late on payment. So they're supposed to pay me tomorrow actually. So we'll see if that happens. Um, so yeah, struggles of self-employment joys. Um, aside from that, I did a complete rebrand, which kind of goes into the new year, new branding. Um, I am going with Carrie Favel, the champagne of voiceover. Um, that was actually suggested by my vocal coach. And um, at first I was a little worried because I always say you don't need alcohol to have fun. And I'm like, I don't, if I put alcohol, you know, in, even though champagne, you usually don't drink, you know, champagne in like a kegger or whatever they're called, like a frat party and you get, you know, blackout drunk. You usually don't do that with champagne. Champagne is usually used for like celebrating. <laughs> um, and so I had to kind of rework my own brain to really kind of connect with that. So it was a really fun process because I went a little too far out of the whimsical and then I, I met black with him and he's like, that, that's not what he meant by, you know, kind of, cause we were talking about how I needed to mature my brand, right? There's a lot of back-end stuff, and that's a voiceover thing that I'm sure I can get into. But basically, um, when I was the, uh, you know, f uh, voice of fairy tales, Favol is Italian for fable or fairy tales, um, and uh, it's it's the plural. So that's why I was using that, and so I had, like, the magical hair because I always change my hair color and everything. Um, but uh, we, I realized talking with my coach that... The work that I was trying to get with that is not through the website. Those are through agents. So my website is going to be used more for what I'm getting already with my direct marketing, which is not really that like cartoon kind of character type of stuff. So I needed a mature presence. So I went too far with it and I went really like kind of cut out my personality and that was a mistake too. So I was really able to marry the two and the process was really, really interesting um, to kind of go through. And uh, so I am, I am happy now. And I actually wrote a little blurb on my about page to kind of explain what champagne of voiceover means to me. So I will read that to you now. I took off my glasses to do this video, so I don't have contact lenses in. So let me put those on. Do you like how they match them? <laughs> I have embraced my effervescence and take pride in being a vivacious, high-spirited, lively, and animated life-of-the-party person. I make sure everyone feels involved and is having a good time. We're all a part of the inside job. Simply put, I am the embodiment of bubbly champagne. It's been a moment since I've actually read off of paper and I realized I might have been blocking the microphone while I did that, so hopefully it's a decent quality. <laughs> Ironically, I might have to voice over my own voiceover. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's kind of where I came from. It was, that is the part of me that I'm very, I am effervescent. I am whimsical. Um, and I hope it's not, it doesn't seem or appear put upon. Like those who know me, I, I'm just like a playful person anyway. I'm a very you know, kind of upbeat, lively person, um, you know, in, in improv. I never had the problem with the yes and and really building up your partner. Like, I was always able to keep it positive and just be, you know, have fun with it. Uh, not touting my own, tooting my own horn, but um, <laughs> touting. Um, but yeah, so so that's really what I'm doing. And this new year, it, it is all about celebration. I am finally there, right? I have spent 
all, not, maybe not all my life, but all of my career trying to get there. And I am officially there. I have my a professionally uh, produced demos in all categories that I need to get started um, because I really do feel like I've just been treading the mud for the past, you know, however long. So um, yeah, so I'm just really, really excited. And I feel like champagne to me does kind of illustrate a new year. And with new year comes the resolutions and the hope of, you know, a, a, a harvest hope of a successful new year and and just what opportunities can come from that. So um, yeah, it just really symbolizes a lot to me. And uh, so I'm really, really excited for where that comes or where that goes. Where did you come from? Where did you go? So yeah, I think that kind of recapped. Um, I will say uh, my Cypress channel has definitely grown and changed. I try to do crafting videos. I still really love them. I do want to go back to them. But right now, time constraints and budget constraints, I can't do that. That is why I switched to story time, um, which I'm also really loving too. Uh, so, you know, it's it's just a different version of the same channel. Um, and uh, so that's really cool. And as I said, I am really excited about the series that I'm trying to develop. We'll see if that comes off the ground, if people like it. Uh, of course, if people don't like it, I probably won't continue it, but um, I'm certainly going to give it an actual chance and a shot. So really excited for that. Um, I also did a, a promotion thing, which is, so thank you all my new subscribers. Um, I got a, I got a really good push and, uh, so I really, really appreciate that. Hope you guys stick around. Um, and yeah, I think that, I think I covered everything. Go subscribe and check out tier two works where, uh, I will continue to be posting throughout the break. I think just kind of makes more sense. Uh, we are playing Pokemon right now. The Pokemon, um, I'm playing Pokemon Scarlet. Phil Harbor, my sister, is simultaneously playing Pokemon Violet. So we actually have a split screen where you can see us both playing. Uh, so you can really see the differences in real time. And I'm also solo playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, and we live stream on Wednesdays, the Lego Harry Potter series currently right now. Um, obviously when we beat that, we'll switch to something else. Um, and yeah, so, you know, yeah, good things coming. I'm excited. Wish I had more physical energy, but I am working on that. So, <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe for more content. Remember that you are loved, you are worthy, and whatever you are struggling with today will pass. Until next time, stay crazy. Mm -hmm.